still procrastinating because I'm making some tea and getting some energy and I want to just do a haul video because I um, bought some things and maybe I thought they'd be cool to make a little video. So, yes. grams of fat, um, not saturated or trans, um, no cholesterol, it has 5 milligrams of sodium, 30 grams of carbohydrates, 4 of which are fiber, 4 of which are sugar, and the rest is just complex carbs, um, protein, there's 5 grams, and that's a lot, there is calcium and 15% of your daily intake of iron ingredients organic quinoa processed and packaged in an allergen free facility certified organic whatever that means no easy inspirations serve instead of rice or couscous use instead of oatmeal for breakfast I don't want to do that. Stir into vegetable soups or stews. I have to try that. Quinoa is a nutritious ancient grain containing a complete protein profile. It is grown at 12,000 feet elevation in the Bolivian Altiplano region. Our organic quinoa is pre-washed and further cleaned and packed in the USA to ensure highest quality. True Roots organic quinoa supports the livelihood of small family farms in the Andean plains. Cooking instructions. Combine half a cup of True Roots organic quinoa with one cup of water or broth in a pot. Bring to a boil. Turn heat on low. Cover and cook for 15 minutes. Let cool for five minutes. Fork with a fork and serve. I just yawned. <laughs> quinoa is cooked when each grain is translucent and white germ is visible. Serves too. <laughs> I don't eat this all the time, but I do add it. I've been adding it into my diet. This is my first bag that I've actually bought. Um, you know, it's it's not from North America. It's from South America, and so it must. You know, they have to grow it there and then transport it all the way here, which I think is a little bit like it's really great, and I think it's so great to try things from different cultures. But I try and eat as locally as. I can, if I can, but we don't grow things like this or even rice up here. So there are some things that we just have to eat imported, and that's okay sometimes. And it makes such a great sound. And now speaking of rice, I have a few other giant eggs. Of rice. This one is an exquisite blend. In this huge bag. White and brown basmati, wild and red rice, riz basmati blanc et brun, riz sauvage et riz rouge. Another giant bag. It's three pounds. <laughs> Should last a while. Della exquisite blend of basmati, wild, and red rice. The perfect combination of flavor, color, and taste. The combination of white and brown basmati brings a sweet and nutty flavor to the blend. The red rice, which has a soft texture and delicate earthy flavor, is complemented by the natural smoky notes and light crunch of the wild rice. I really like wild rice. Easy to prepare because our blend is quick cooking without the use of added artificial flavors or sodium found in most convenient rice. 
delicious on its own or as a side dish or as part of a recipe. I like to make this one in the um, rice cooker. Our rice is not a product of genetic engineering. And where does it come from? It's distributed from Arkansas, but I don't know where it is made. Maybe it's made here? I'm not sure. never bought one of these so I finally did. Jasmine rice from imported from um, I don't know where it's from but it, it came here. It's from packaged in Toronto or in Canada and Montreal. I don't know where it's from. Asia. That's all it says. Anyhow, I haven't tried it yet. Oh my gosh. What? I like rice. So I'm gonna eat this. <laughs> Oi. And maybe just build some muscles from lifting it. Okay, last thing. This is not, well. here. This is a bottle of scotch. Now, uh, I have to hold it tilted so you can see. Um, I, my heritage is Scottish, one quarter. Um, and I, I mean, I don't really drink very much at all. I'm not a big drinker, but I do occasionally, I like to have one drink maybe once a week or something, maybe beer, maybe something else. Like last night was Friday night and I had a gin and tonic, but I, this isn't just for me, first of all, no way. <laughs> this is for me and my boyfriend and he likes it too and if we have friends over or if my parents stay over, my dad really, really likes scotch. So this, um, at Christmas time, my dad has like an amazing scotch collection and with all my brothers we all just kind of like tried them all out every night and mm, he had some when we were 18, I think, or was it? This one I like because it's like reasonable and then you just have a little bit and it tastes nice. I like it with an ice cube in it. Um, my dad had like some really fancy ones. He had, well, first of all, he had Johnny Walker Black Label, which is pretty good. It's, I think, similar in quality to this one. And then he had the Johnny Walker Platinum, which was really, really good. And that's an expensive one already. And then he has a box of Johnny Walker Blue Label, which is really fancy. And he isn't opening it until he said, I'm not opening this until I die <laughs> or until something huge happens. It's like one of those things that he just keeps until, you know, maybe someone gets married or if someone dies or if someone has a baby. Those three things he will have, he will open it. Hopefully it's not somebody to die because that's not a good reason. Um, unless it's like, you know, in a celebration. But who knows, when he does, I want to be there and I want us all to be there. It'll be fun. I'm gonna open it up. So, for those of you who... Oh no! <laughs> my, 
He's gonna know that I opened it. <laughs> um, the difference between whiskey and scotch and bourbon and blah 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 is just where it's made. I'm not a, I don't know very much about it, but I do know why can't this open? Um, there we go. So only ones that are made in Scotland can be called scotch. They have like some special legal thing going on that you cannot call anything else scotch unless it's made in Scotland. And it's all whiskey. I think whiskey is a general term for it all. So like, well this is in a special paper bag. I don't know if I should open it. I can show you exactly what it looks like. Because I have an empty one. So this is the bottle. Um, this is from like half a year ago. Let me just finish it. Making too many hot toddies last week. I love that sound. So yeah, I think bur bourbon is American scotch. Um, some like famous whiskeys, Jack Daniels, I guess. I don't really like that one. Um, Johnny Walker is a blend, so it has it's Irish, I do believe. Irish and English. And Scottish. It's fancy. Okay. I know you like that song. everything. It's the silliest haul video I think I've ever shown. Quinoa, rice, and scotch. Imagine if that's all I ate. <laughs> no, that would be really unhealthy. Um, this is just, you know, when you need stuff, you need stuff. I'm on a whim. Well, enjoy. <laughs>